Hey everyone, it's Mr. G, and last night I received a cool question asking me if I could create a script that counts up from 1 to 5 and then goes back in reverse down to 1. So on screen, I did just that. I did the brute force method of accomplishing this task, which is just using a whole bunch of say blocks in a row, or repeating them. Now, because I said the word repeat, that means that there's probably a better way to do that in code. So I'm going to go over to the control palette and bring in a repeat block, which allows me to loop over some code. And what I'm going to be repeating is the say block. So I want to say the number, and I changed it from two seconds to one second. But I don't want to type out the number, because I want to programmatically change what it says. So a good tool to do this is going to be a variable. So I'm going to go over back to the variables palette and create a new variable that I'm going to call the count, let's say. And in the beginning, when we first run this script, I'm going to initialize count to zero. So every time this script runs, count gets reset to zero, no matter what it was before. And what I want to do is I want to change the count by one and then say that count. So I'm going to drag in this reporter block, this rounded count variable block. And now if I run this script, Scratch is going to count up from one all the way up to 10. But that's still not what the person is asking for, because we want to stop at 5 and go backwards. So when we hit 5, we want to change the count not by 1, but by negative 1. So I'm going to need a block like this eventually. So let me bring it over here for now, and let me think. I have to think of a way to keep track of whether I should be counting up or counting down. So let's create another variable, and let's call this counting up question mark. So this is going to be kind of like a question, and in the beginning, when I first run this script, let's initialize counting up to true. And I'm going to type out true because I don't think Scratch has any true or false blocks, at least not built in. I don't think. But I think writing it as a string is going to be fine. I don't even know if Scratch handles this as a Boolean, but it doesn't really matter. Because as long as counting up is true, I want to change the count by positive 1. So I'm going to bring in an if else block. Okay, let's put this right up here, and let's move the say block just below this. So if this is all true, or sorry, if the counting up variable is set to true, I have to use my equality operator to check to see if it equals true. Let me put counting up inside of the space there. And if counting up is equal to true, then I want to change the count by positive one. Else, otherwise, I want to change the count by negative one, so it'll count down. So now I have to find a way to make sure that when I get to five, I start counting down. So I have to change the counting up variable to false. So let me bring in another if block, and let me think about where or when I should do this. Let's see. I think if we do it at the start, that'll work just fine. Let me put it not inside of everything, but there we go. So I'm going to check to see if the count equals 5, because that is when we're going to switch the, um, switch the counting up variable to false. So if counting, or if the count equals 5, sorry, I almost misspoke there, I am going to set or reset the variable counting up to false. It actually doesn't even matter what I set it to, because as long as it's not true, it's going to change the count by negative 1. So what's happening here is, as my code runs, it's going to check to see if the count equals 5. And if it does, then it's going to reset counting up to false. And then it's going to check again to see if counting up equals true. And if it is, it's going to count up. If it's not, it's going to count down. And after all of this, I'm going to say the number for one second. So let me just remove my hat block here, my when green flag is clicked block. And let's test it out and see if it works. Now you'll notice he went down to zero, so that must mean that I have to repeat this, not 10 times, but nine times. And if I count here, there should be nine say blocks and not actually 10. And I think that'll do it. I'll just retest it real quick. It looks like it works. If you found this video to be helpful, I'd appreciate it if you hit the thumbs up button, and I'll see you next time.